Epic Seven's new draft mode is the best thing that nobody's talking about. So if you watch my channel update video, then you know I've become pretty obsessed with Epic Seven's new draft mode. So I wanted to make a quick introduction video for all the content I plan on putting out on this game. I actually think I might do like an introduction video for any game I'm going to be putting on the channel. So let's start from the top. What is Epic Seven? Epic Seven is a hero collector. It is a mobile gotcha game. Uh, but it has some of the most beautiful character designs I've ever seen. It's a turn-based fighting game with interesting heroes, tons of story, PvP, PvE, guilds, guild battles, events, and more. I played the game for about five years when it was first released uh, until like a little while ago when I quit. I stopped playing because I felt like the amount of money required to play the game had gotten outrageous. I could go on and on about how you have to spend money on banners, the packs they sell in the shop, the pop-ups they added to the game for FOMO deals, the thousands of dollars they want you to spend refreshing your stamina to farm gear and everything else. There was a ton of reasons and I was finished with it. PvP was a whale fest, the gear system is horribly unrewarding, and I was just done. I always thought to myself, why couldn't Epic Seven copy Tower Fantasy's PvP? where if you just buy the character once and you go into PvP, everything's maxed out and everybody is on the same level in arena only. Or have some kind of fair game mode that wasn't dominated by how much money you've spent. The game is amazing. It's like Pokemon, but you want to bang all the characters. I had completely given up hope. And then they did it. They made draft mode. So draft mode is five characters. For each character slot, you're given a set of three choices. The characters are pre-built with an artifact and gear bonuses. You cannot change them. You can see all their stats before you pick them, where speed determines their position in a lineup of when your character gets to attack, and a description of the character and what they do if you're unfamiliar with them. After you pick, you also get to see your opponent's choice. Uh, you need to really pay attention at this point to see their stats because it pops up for a very short window. I really wish there was like an option to check the character stats like before the game starts. Like maybe if you right click or hold your mouse over the character, it will pop up with the, the little card, the stat card, so you can see what's there. At the end of your five choices, you'll be able to ban a character. So if, they're, if your opponent got really lucky or they have like an ultimate counter to the lineup that you ended up with, then you could just get rid of it. And then you enter the map. So all of this is completely free. You don't need to own anything at all in the game. You just enter this mode, you, you push go, and you play completely fairly with your opponent. So I think it's important to back up here a little bit. Um, this is the single greatest feature that Epic Seven has ever added to their game. The only problem with this is, is there is no matchmaking and no ranked for this game mode. You can only access this through the world arena and you have to make your own like dual room. Uh, you'll then choose draft and wait for someone to join, or you could join one of the existing rooms instead. If Epic Seven could add ranked queue to this, this could be this game's like Hearthstone Battlegrounds moment. This could be their team fight tactics moment. This game has the potential to blow up as a respectable game in popularity and not be written off as trash mobile scam gotcha garbage. Now, a PvP could encourage you to play the rest of the game as well. If you fall in love with a character you keep picking in draft mode, maybe you'll want to pull them on the banner when you see them next when they come up in the future. Maybe you'll want a skin for that character and you'll spend a little bit of money. Maybe you'll want to dive into the deep story of this game and learn about your favorite waifu. The potential to gain actual playing customers through this free, competitive, and fun game mode is huge. I hope more than anything that Epic Seven makes a ranked matchmaking for this draft mode. Something else I don't feel like many people are realizing, the character pool we have here is not complete. Now this could be for two reasons. One, they didn't want to spend time and money coding like every single important character into this game mode. Two, they're considering seasons like teamfight tactics in which the champion pool rotates every so often and keeps the meta fresh. But if it is the second choice and they are on the path to greatness, the idea of rotation to keep this game mode new and fresh is like one of the best ideas they could ever have. So back to the battling. 
you move into the actual battle of the game. You have about 15 seconds to select an ability, which is great in case you don't really know what the character does that you've chosen. You play the game, someone wins, and then you're back in the duel room you started in. Now, I've personally been doing best two out of three with the people that join my room. Uh, you have a chat to communicate with them and people can join, spectate and chat during your match as well. So if you're getting all uh, your shit pushed in, there could be someone heckling you on the sidelines. You could disable the chat if you're a giant pussy, but uh, it's, mo it's, mo it's way more fun to have the chat. Some rooms also do like King of the Hill, which I absolutely love. So if you don't mind waiting in a line of people, uh, there's plenty of people playing like that as well. Draft mode is all I've ever wanted in Epic Seven. Some of these characters I'm very attached to, and I've spent hours reading their storylines and lore. Through draft, I've started to even become a little fond of other characters that I would never have purchased on my own before. To Smilegate, if you are seeing this, if you'll ever see this, if you'll ever hear of this ever, please, please make a ranked matchmaking for the draft mode. Until then, I'll continue to make my own rooms and try to keep up little counters of my victories for my own personal accomplishments. But that brings me to another small downside of this mode. Um, it's in the world arena portion of the game. I feel like this is sort of by accident. It's really only just because this is the only place for you to create a custom room. But I think your account needs to be like level 50 to unlock this menu. So you would need to play the PvE mode of this game a lot to even get to this mode. It's important to mention you could technically do that for free. It's just going to take a really long time of you actually playing the game. So I can't Unfortunately, I can't be like, download and play me right now, you pussy. You're going to have to spend some time unlocking this until Smilegate maybe separates it until its own little ranked queue. But yeah, this is what I've been playing nonstop, and I really wanted to share some of my matches and win streaks with you guys. So I'm going to be working on those videos for the future. And I also want to say, just to like calm my own anxiety, I'm going to try to edit these videos to be a higher quality um, and hopefully more entertaining, even if you don't play this game. I, I want to form format them in a way where you'll understand them and laugh at them, even if you never have and never will play. So I'm not uploading on any set schedule. It could take me a couple of days. It could take me a week to edit a video. I'm not very good at editing. <laughs> So they will come when they come, come. I want to make a video that I personally enjoy and then upload that video for you guys, rather than just shitting out any game I play. So what do you think of draft mode? Uh, do you already play Epic Seven and you didn't even know this existed because it got overshadowed by a scam pay to win PVE mode that Smilegate shit out and then apologized for, and then gave you a bunch of free stuff to apologize for and then just wanted to pretend like it never happened? If you don't play Epic Seven, is this something you would try out? Or is the gameplay length of actually unlocking it a no-go for you? Would you try it out if you could just download and play it immediately? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys on the next one.